In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the free version of Copilot for Windows 11. If you're new here, my name is Aldo and I do work at Microsoft, but I also love making these tech videos to help people use their computers better. And in today's video, we're going to learn all the different ways you can use the free version of Copilot in Windows 11. With that being said, let's get started. The first thing I want to touch on is how can you actually access Copilot if it's not already installed on your computer? The way to do this is uh, going to your start button, heading over to the Microsoft store, and then in the store, simply typing in the word up the top here, typing in Copilot. You see that there are two versions here. On the left hand side, there is the Copilot, which is the free version, which is what we're going to use for today. Um, if it didn't say open, because I already already have it installed, you'd hit the download button here instead. If you have the paid version, you would download Microsoft 365 for Copilot. Uh, and this is if it's paid for your personal or even if you have it paid for your business accounts. Uh, but today we are focusing on all the free good uh, goodness that is in the Copilot app. So what we have here, I've already pinned it down the bottom here. I wanna show you and walk you through um, the basics of Copilot in the app. Um, on the left hand side, I've already signed in to my account. And what you see here is I have all my current chats um, from today, from last week, and even further. Uh, and I can keep scrolling through to all the different chats that I have had. At the top of this section here, you'd have a little option to collapse or maximize this out. Um, this is really cool if you wanna go back and see your chats. And then next to that, you have the option to create a brand new conversation. Uh, so if you've been talking to Copilot about something, you can of course start a new conversation and then it just clears all that previous history. One thing I will point out is that down the bottom, if you select on your profile picture and then we scroll up, you have the option to sign out if you wanna sign in into a different account, but we're gonna select on the option of settings. In settings here, you have a few options. Um, the first one is of course to auto start uh, Copilot when you log in. So if you wanna have really quick access to Copilot, turn this guy on. Uh, you can also choose the different voices of Copilot. Uh, co Talking to Copilot is actually really quite cool. We're gonna go through the voices uh, a little bit later in today's video. And of course, there is a keyboard shortcut of using Alt and Spacebar. So if you wanna have quick access to Copilot by pressing Alt Spacebar, you can have this guy turned off if you don't want that. Or we can turn that on and Alt Spacebar. It's gonna pop up into this little Copilot action button here with a quick tap of the Alt and the Spacebar key. Now let's open this back up. Uh, let's jump into our settings one more time, but to show you there's nothing else we need to go through here. Uh, and then we're just gonna hit the back button or you can hit refresh to check for updates if you wanna make sure you got the latest update. One last thing I wanna point out with just navigating Copilot is in the top left-hand corner, you have of course your maximize, minimize and close, but there is also this little arrow pointing open quick view. And that will just snap it into the smaller view of Copilot, or you can maximize it as well. Uh, and of course, if you don't even have Copilot open, but you've got that Alt Tab option turned on, Alt Tab, and of course, you launch straight into Copilot. Uh, let's maximize this one more time, and I want to show you the different ways you can input into Copilot as well. Of course, down the bottom here, you have the option that says Message Copilot, and you can start typing in, asking all sorts of questions. On the right hand side of that, you also have the option of uh, respond with Think Deeper. So what Think Deeper is, is it actually asks the model to reason and actually put a lot more thought into the answer that it gives you. And this is fantastic if you think you're asking it a bit more of a deeper question. Um, you wanna hit the Think Deeper button and then give it uh, a few more seconds to give you an answer. Now let's have a quick example of this. I'm gonna turn Think Deeper off. I'm gonna ask it a question. I'm gonna ask it, what are the benefits of an NPU in a computer? Just gonna copy that and go submit. And you see here, it's given us a pretty decent answer. But if I ask it that same question, I select the think deeper option and I hit submit one more time. You get this little icon showing you that it is thinking and it's taking a bit more time to respond to your answer. This is totally fine, totally normal. And what you'll see here is that it is just thinking um, of a better or a deeper um, answer to your question. Uh, so if you want a very quick answer, 
the standard message is fine. If you want more detail um, and more input, hit that think deeper button and you'll get a more detailed response back. Um, and then of course, we can continue asking questions back and forth. If we hover over um, the response, we can either give it a thumbs up to say that was a good response, a thumbs down saying it was bad, or we can go ahead and copy it. So then we can go ahead and then paste it somewhere else. Really cool. And then of course, we can just continue this conversation with Copilot. Down the bottom, of course, we can type in to Copilot, but there's a few other ways I wanna show you how you can interact with this, um, this model as well. There is the plus button. And from here, we can of course start a brand new conversation. Underneath that, you have the option of uploading. So I'm gonna select an upload really quickly. I'm gonna drop in one of my previous scripts. So let's go ahead and grab 5G home script. And then now that we've got the document here, I'm just gonna hit enter. Um, I can turn think deeper on or off even with this. And I'm gonna ask it to summarize this document and give me five questions to ask about it. Hit enter. Um, so I've just uploaded a document to Copilot. I've put in the Think Deeper option, so it's gonna think even more about that summarization as well as the questions that it's gonna come back. And you'll see here that it has given a very quick summary of that, um, that document, as well as five questions to ask. Um, so really quickly, even though we're thinking deeper, it's giving a great, um, great response back not only in terms of the summarization, but also allowing me to work with it and giving me some questions if I was gonna ask questions about this document too. Super cool. Uh, then if I hit that plus button one more time, you have the option here to take a screenshot. So I'm gonna, again, create a brand new conversation. I'm gonna turn off Think Deeper this time, and I'm gonna say, uh, take a screenshot. Copilot's gonna minimize to the screen behind it, uh, and then I'm just gonna take a quick snapshot of part of my desktop. Copilot launches back up and it starts uploading that image. And I'm just going to ask it to describe this image. Hit enter. And then it'll take a couple of seconds to tell us a bit about this image. And it tells us really accurately, it's a blue abstract background with um, two icons. One is the recycling bin and one is the welcome to PowerPoint. Really handy if you're doing things on the internet, you could of course, um, or basically any program, grab a snapshot and ask it questions of whatever image you've put up. And I feel like now I've uh, taken you through a lot of the benefits of using the Copilot app. But uh, one thing I really want to look at is, of course, the speech option. So most people are used to typing in and talking to, uh, to their computer via the keyboard. But the option to talk with Copilot is really quite fantastic. So I uh, just got a new chat. I'm going to select on this speech button here, talk to Copilot. You can see it says I'm listening. Hey, and you can start talking. Copilot, tell me a bit about this conversational mode that we have. Sure thing, Aldo. We're in a hands free mode where I can chat with you via voice. It's like so I can interrupt Copilot and because it's listening to my voice, Copilot will stop. Um, you can also see down the bottom here, I have the option of X to stop talking. I can hit the microphone or I can select on the settings. The settings is quite cool because you have all these different voices you can choose as well. Let's explore the world together. As a companion, I learn about you and help on. I want to hear your big idea. I'm gonna leave it on the Elm voice right, for now. Hey, Copilot, stop. Just because I'm also recording, I have turned the microphone off so I can uh, speak to you guys and not have Copilot interrupting. Uh, but I'm gonna turn it on. Mm -hmm. Ciao, Copilot, come stai? Ciao, Aldo, sto bene, grazie. E tu, come stai? Yeah, molto bene. Mi dispiace sentirlo. Vuoi parlarne o preferisci cambiare? So, sorry, I've just hit stop there so you guys can see. Um, what happened was I started speaking to Copilot in Italian and it started responding back to me in Italian. So you see here that um, it's got a transcript of what we we're talking about. I just started speaking a different language and Copilot, without skipping a beat, started speaking back to me within a different language too. Hey Aldo, you're back. Hey Copilot, how many languages uh, can you currently speak? I can chat in dozens of languages, 
from English and Spanish to Mandarin, Arabic. Hey, co-pilot, stop. Can you can you speak in Korean? Can you tell me if I'm saying this correctly? Ano ha seyo? G irman aldo ipnida manso samba. Ah, I said that wrong. No worries, Aldo. Your pronunciation was close. It's Anya Azeo, Che Iruman Aldo Imida. Give it another go if you want. Anya Azeo. That's spot on, Aldo. Perfect start. Keep going. How do I say the rest? Sure. Repeat after me. Che Iruman Aldo Imida. Mangaso Pangapsunida. Che Iruman Aldo Ipnida. Mangaso Po Pangapsunida. Great effort. It sounded like che iruman aldo imida, manaso pangapsunida. So what you guys can see there is that um, my Korean is obviously terrible, but you can also use Copilot. You can speak to it in any language or, you know, dozens of languages. Um, you can ask questions, you can get responses. You can have a really good conversation with Copilot. Um, and, you know, like me, I've been using it to learn a bit of, of Korean. Um, but what you can see is that there are so many different uses for Copilot, and this is the free application. Um, one thing I do like is, of course, closing out of Copilot, pressing that Alt space bar, and having that quick access to Copilot where I can quickly ask it a question. I can upload a document or a screenshot or talk straight into it with the Talk to Copilot. And there you have it. That is an overview of how to use the free version of Copilot for Windows 11. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. And if you're going to supercharge raise your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.